I got involved in crime at a very young age, not through choice, more of a necessity to live the lifestyle I wanted to lead. It's a lifestyle looking back, I had a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie, I did have a lot of fun, but on the flip side of that, I had double the amount of heartache, double the amount of pain and anguish towards my family and friends. I can remember a lot of times I'd come home and my mum would be crying because the police had been round again and a lot of things were going on. And it was just relentless. At that time in my life, it was relentless. I started very, very young. I probably started at around about 12, I'd say. And this is back when the, the cocaine and drugs problem really took off. I'm one of the very rare few that have managed to turn his life around and completely come away from crime, which, believe me, is not an easy thing to do, especially at the stage and level that I was at. I want people to learn and listen to the mistakes that I made because the similarities between my mistakes and kids' mistakes that they're making now, they're very, very similar. I look at my little boy now who's 10 and it would absolutely break my heart to even think about him sitting in that cell and watching that, that door shut. I couldn't even fathom it, but that's why I do what I do now to make sure that I made those mistakes and that he never will. So we're on our way now to the Beechwood Avenue estate. It's where all the trouble began. It's where all the associations were made with other criminals. And it's where my criminal career, as you would say, started to blossom. But it's also a place that has a lot of bad memories. There was a lot of incidents on the estates with firearms, with assaults. And it's just generally a very rough place to grow up. There was um, an incident years and years ago. Two cars pulled onto the estate, both with firearms in. The firearms were drawn. Within about six minutes, there was about 20 of us surrounded the two cars. There was a fight that ensued, guns were drawn. Um, there was a massive police presence with helicopters and everything else. And that was just a regular occurrence. And it's at that point you start to think to yourself, well, how have I ended up where I am? And it's just the natural progression of things. The same way as now, there'll be kids around here that are 13 and 14 that are willing to do what we were doing at 21. But that's just the way it is now because there's nothing to send that message out now. There's nothing to get that point across. That it all leads to nothing but pain, heartache, misery for your families. If I could go back and give a message to myself as a kid now, it would be a firm knuckle down, go to school, get your qualifications and go and get a job.